Now, the one thing a human being understands is pain. Now, just bear with me, okay? If you inflict pain on a human being, then they respond to that. They understand that, and, it, and it's a deterrent. So, Well, some uh, people might say the reason they behave the way they do is because they have had pain dished out to them all their lives. Well, just bear with me, Mike, and let me get to the end of the argument. Okay. So... so if a human being understands pain and they respond to that, then the state regains control. Well, now, only if they respond in the right way, though, John. Well, no, just bear with me. I'm bearing with you, but I'm occasionally <laughs> going to interrupt okay. you because otherwise it sounds like right. your show. OK, but they, they, anybody who says, well, my solution is barbaric, ask yourself this. Is, say, caning somebody or birching somebody... Is that any more barbaric than throwing acid in somebody's face? And at the end of the day, the state has to... Otherwise, we've got complete anarchy, and that's basically the way things are going. Because when people do not fear authority, do not fear uh, any kind of retribution, then we, it's a breakdown. And what we're seeing now is complete breakdown. But what makes and, you think... Hang on, let me ask you a question, John. What makes you no. think that if these people fear nothing which includes a custodial sense is being locked up in a horrible place in an overcrowded situation where all sorts of ghastly violence goes on and where they might not actually escape with their lives. If they don't fear that. Why would they fear being birched? Because the, a human being understands pain. No, you keep pain. saying that, but they get pain in lots of other ways as well. I mean, they no, might be no, in pain no. if, as we speak, and they'd certainly get pain if they went to prison. No, 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 no. It's not physical pain. You yes, it is. Have you been into prison lately? Michael, it is not physical pain. People get beaten up in prison every single hour of every single day. People get uh, uh, violence preyed upon them when they go to prison every the single day. Mike, Mike, the majority of people in prison are not being beaten up every day. The majority are not in pain every day. That's That's just nonsense. How do you know that? How do you know... How do you know they are? Because I talk to people who work in the prison system. I see people on a regular basis who have uh, been inside prison, and I know what goes on in there. We know that our prisons are overcrowded. We know that they can't handle the numbers of people that they're having to take in. We know that there are cells which are designed for two people being occupied by four. You know, the prisons are a horrible place to go. OK. And they if are not I... safe, and they are very violent. If I said to you, Mike, OK, you've just, you've just um, rammed into the back of my car. It was your fault. Um, you can either walk three miles or I, I can give you a severe beating. What would you rather have? Uh, I think I'd probably give you a severe beating first, to be honest, if that was my two choices. Mike, Mike, I don't, I don't think you're taking it seriously. I really well, don't. I can't take it seriously, John. You're talking absolute nonsense. You can't go around birching people in this day and age. The difference between the state dishing out uh, punishment and an individual throwing acid in somebody's face is vast. OK, that's your first problem. And nobody in their right mind thinks that birching a grown up adults is a good way forward. No one. Well, 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 just ask, answer me the question, then, which I, okay. I put to you. Is, is that any more barbaric than throwing at? When well, you've already asked people, me that question. Okay. I've already well, answered it. Right. Well, well, you tell me then, how do you stop somebody throwing acid into somebody's back because all the things that you would advocate are there now and it's not stopping them no i so, agree so i don't say i haven't got the answer john but your answer is not the right one unfortunately john can i just ask you a practical level on, on a practical level how would you dish out these punishments how, how would it work right so an offender goes to court they're warned once if you do this again um, I'm not talking about, you know, I'm, I'm talking about crime now. I'm not talking about... As, as so the, so the magistrate would say, next time it's a birching for yes, you. Next time you will be birched, right? And then... Now who does this birching? Yeah, how does it, how does it who work? Who does it? Is there a, bir a sort of a main bircher? Well, there would be somebody appointed, yes. We we used to have, you know, but I mean, anyway. That, um, but so, so you go along and... But, but can you, you know imagine that... the type of nutters who would apply yeah. for that job? Well, maybe you do it in public as well. You take them up to the old uh, Tyburn up at the <laughs> Marble Arch and just have a public birching session. Is that what you want? No, it would be done in private and sensibly with people, responsible people. And yeah. what, where would it, would it be? Do you get birched on your back? Bottom? Bottom. 
on, on your back. On, on your, your back. back. Naked back. That's, a, that's an appalling idea, John. Thank you very much indeed for your call. But listen, uh, we're looking for answers here, and I don't mind how ridiculous they are, but that one certainly is the most ridiculous one I've heard. Birching people is not the answer. Whatever you may think, and uh, whatever uh, craziness may have entered your brain. 0344 499 1000. However, we do need to find a solution to the lawless streets that we are currently suffering from, and I want to know what you think we should do. 0344 499 1000. This is Talk Radio.